I'm Dr. Natalie Rose Scott, founder and president of La Vie de la Rose Flower Essences. Welcome to our online series on awakening the sacred self, uncovering and recovering your true essence. Our goal in this series is to support you to learn how to use the trauma recovery flower essences so that you receive the maximal benefit from them. Your true essence is your divine self. It's the authentic self, the core self, the essential self. It's that self that, that you long for and to which you are returning through your personal healing journey. Our goal in using the flower essences is to activate that sacred self more fully and to quicken our journey of recovery. The only thing that stands between us and that true essence, that essential self, are the imprints of the past from traumatic experiences. As we clear the trauma of the past, we create space for that essential self, which I call the soul. The soul is a direct extension of source, one with source and inseparable from it. The soul is our divine connection, what people call their God self. The soul is always present, always directing us, always guiding us. When we experience trauma, there is a rupture from the soul that happens through our perception. Our spiritual journeys is about healing that rupture with the soul, healing our perception of separation from soul, and returning our mind to a state of oneness. So the traumas of the past take many forms. Some of them we're consciously aware of, and some of them lie deep in our unconscious. There are also experiences that we've had that we haven't perceived as traumatic. Though when we explore more deeply, we realize that our young selves, particularly, were touched very deeply by things that we may not have understood were traumatic. Traumas represent the suffering of our experience on this earth plane, and our goal is to transcend the suffering. Healing trauma is actually a very practical endeavor as well as a necessary endeavor. The only way to truly improve our lives is by healing trauma. All of our challenges, no matter what, what they are, whether we have health challenges, relationship challenges, financial challenges, career challenges, at the root of those challenges, particularly if they evoke strong emotional responses, are the traumas of the past. So to truly, truly change our lives, we must, we must address the trauma. My goal as a trauma specialist has been to explore how we can accelerate the journey of healing trauma, how we can ease that journey, and how we can move towards the restoration of the spiritual potential that was lost during traumatic experiences. These flower essences represent a radical breakthrough. They are a gift from nature and from spirit to those of us who truly desire to transcend the past. Many people have been on a path of healing trauma for a while, and they cannot understand why their lives are still touched by the trauma. One of the common things I hear from women is that they still struggle in relationships and they know that their relationship struggles relate to the traumas of the past and yet they've done everything possible to heal those traumas. So why, 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 why are they still challenged in their relationships? I talk to people who've been on the spiritual path who have health conditions such as cancer and they question why they've still manifested cancer in spite of the healing that they've done. And the answer is that we have just graduated to a new level of opportunity in the realm of healing. Traditionally, our healing has been incremental. And the goal has been for us to find balance, to learn to cope with what we've lived through, to make the best of bad situations. I want you to know that all things can be healed. All things can be healed at the level of consciousness and the flower essences work at the level of consciousness. They are not working physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. They're working at the place where these deep imprints in our consciousness are held. Healing trauma is never an easy thing. We all know that. And even on the accelerated path, healing trauma takes time. I want to congratulate you for making the decision to work with our trauma recovery solutions and to do this online educational series to support you to maximize the effect of these flower essences in your life 
It takes courage to do what you've decided to do. It takes courage because you know in your heart these flower essences will bring you to a deeper level of healing. And I assure you that as you continue the work of your soul, which your healing is, you will achieve the breakthroughs that you seek. You will achieve liberation. This is a moment of celebration. So take a deep breath and we're going to begin our journey together. I'm a survivor of extreme trauma. When I was a young woman, I entered therapy and after five years of therapy with one of the best therapists in the field, I was told that I may not be able to fully recover, that perhaps I had to accept the limitations of the trauma I experienced. I decided that I would heal and that I would pioneer in the field of trauma until I found the secret of healing for myself. And so for almost 30 years, I have dedicated myself to my own healing and to discovering how we can truly heal and also how to ease and expedite our path. I wanted to create a system that would allow us to stay in balance as we do the deep and often difficult work of healing trauma and that's what I did. In honor of my 50th birthday, I finished my PhD in spiritual and therapeutic counseling and my specialty was using the power of nature to heal trauma and grow spiritually. I have shared this work with people around the world and I'm very happy to be sharing it with you. What is trauma? Trauma is a significant event that left a deep an impactful imprint on our consciousness, an imprint that limits us from fulfilling our potential. There's a physiological response to trauma and there's also a spiritual response to trauma. From a spiritual perspective, our higher potential is deactivated with each trauma. As you prepare to begin this journey, look at your schedule and make a commitment to create more time for you. That's a big challenge for all of us. And in order to heal, we need time for ourselves. We need time to feel, we need time to be. So look ahead and see what windows of opportunity there could be for you to have more time in your schedule. Also, if you don't already have a journal, get one. Journaling is a wonderful way to process what comes up as we work with these flower essences. Also, it's really wonderful to track the unfoldment of our journey with the flower essences to be able to go back and see what happened. When we consciously choose to heal or to go to a new level of healing, we often feel frightened. We know that we've been suppressing or repressing feelings and we're afraid that the feelings might be too intense for us to handle. Remember the flower essences were created to support us to heal in balance. And if you feel like your feelings are too intense, that's a sign that some support would be really helpful. We're also afraid of the unknown. What might come up? What secrets from within our subconscious might be revealed? And that's natural. And at the same time, the only way to liberate ourselves from the past is to allow the revelations of the subconscious mind to occur. One more fear. And that's the fear of what might change in our lives as we heal. People in particular are afraid that their relationships will change. Only through the healing can you see how your life will change and unfold. Your healing will always bring you to your highest good and that nothing of value to your soul can be lost. Willingness to heal is the key to healing. When we're willing, we do heal. But what blocks willingness? Why are we resistant? And we all are resistant and we're resistant at each new phase of healing. So I want you to explore your own resistance, your own fears, your own apprehensions about your healing journey and to work consciously to overcome that resistance so that you can move forward more easily and more quickly on your spiritual path. After almost 30 years of studying trauma and working in the field of trauma, it became clear to me that there were six specific areas in which all trauma survivors were deeply affected. I came to understand that these areas represent important spiritual potential that was deactivated at the time of trauma. I created 
the trauma solutions to support us to reactivate that spiritual potential. And that's really the focus of the flower essences that we offer for trauma recovery. Their focus is to unlock and unearth potential that we lost at the time of trauma. Let me walk you through the process that you'll be engaged in every day. Begin by taking divine eminence. Take one dropper full of divine eminence on or under your tongue. Take a moment to be conscious and present to the effect of the flower essence, and then read the affirmation. I'm going to read the affirmation now, and as I read it, I'm going to explain in more detail what is meant by the words. I declare I'm a sacred and holy being, a direct emanation of source. Isn't that beautiful? To remember that you are sacred, that you are holy, and nothing that's happened to you has ever changed that. No amount of abuse, neglect, or any other kind of trauma can change who you truly are. You are a direct emanation of Source. One with Source and inseparable from Source. Through your soul, you remain eternally connected to the Divine. I know my body and the earth as temples of the Divine. This flower essence is calling us into the remembrance of our inherent sacredness. Your body is divine. You are called to honor your body. It is the temple of the soul. And this earth is also an expression of the divine. And that is why we're called to care for Mother Earth, to heal Mother Earth, to honor Mother Earth. I'm reverent toward all life, including myself. When we truly acknowledge that all life, all life is sacred, we become reverent toward all life. That doesn't mean that we condone the behavior of all people or that we even like all people. We are called spiritually to love unconditional and to hold the energy of reverence toward all life, all humans and all, all living beings including ourselves. So this is your friendly reminder every day to treat yourself with loving kindness. I erase the imprints in my consciousness from wounded religious experiences. In this lifetime and in many past lives, we have been part of different religions and we have had difficult religious experiences. Most of us have been taught at some point in history that we were sinners and that all sin is a call for punishment. When we sin, we deserve to be punished. And all suffering actually is the result of our belief that we deserve to be punished for what we've done and what we haven't done. I believe in error and error correction rather than sin and punishment. And so this is just one of the healing antidotes that this flower essence provides. I erase the imprints in my consciousness from wounded religious experiences. When we carry wounded religious experiences, we end up feeling separate from God. We end up being angry at God, feeling abandoned by God, feeling ashamed in the face of God, feeling afraid of God, feeling victimized by God. And all of these things create resistance to heal because everybody knows in their heart of heart that their healing is leading them to a deeper experience of God, soul, source, universe, existence. And so when we subconsciously or even consciously hold grievances towards God, we slow down our healing process. And the next statement is, I release all grievances toward the divine. We believe that we require God's forgiveness or the forgiveness of source, and in truth, We've never been judged by the divine. The divine has no need to forgive us because the divine has never judged us. But we are the judges in our own lives and the lives of others. And our judgments of the divine and the feelings we hold towards the divine lead us to a place where we need to heal in relation to the divine, where we are called to release our grievances toward the divine. I heal my incorrect perceptions of the divine We've all been taught that the divine exists outside of us, that the divine is separate from us. 
Some people believe, well, I'm a piece of the divine. I'm a part of God. But God is much greater than me. The truth is we are equal to God or source and God is greater than us. So we are healing these, these misperceptions of the divine and coming to understand that all life emanates from source. And to that source, all life will return. And whether you, however you think of that source is, is totally up to you. I think of source as neutral. I think of source as energy. And I think of source as the life force that infuses existence. So we're healing our incorrect perceptions of the divine. You know, when we believe that the divine is outside of us, then we wait to be rescued by the divine. And our healing journey is meant to teach us that all the power of the divine is within. We need nothing outside of ourselves to rescue us. We are called to access that power internally. I experience the divine as imminent, the divine as within. I enter the hall of sacredness. So this flower essence, every time you take it, draws you into the hall of sacredness, the hall of your soul. Let me explain why divine imminence is a companion to the trauma recovery solutions. Every time you take divine imminence, you are elevated. You are called into your divine essence, your experience of your essential self. And from that place, you have courage, you have confidence, and it's much easier to then do the work of healing trauma. Also, in the difficult moments, perhaps you have a nightmare, perhaps the feelings are intense, take divine imminence. It will soften the healing experience. So that's why divine imminence is a companion to the trauma recovery solutions. Keep it handy. All right, you are ready to get started. So just a reminder, take all seven flower essences every morning and evening, read the affirmations at least once a day. In the subsequent modules, I'll be sharing more about the six flower essences and the trauma recovery solutions. I'll look forward to seeing you soon.